The name Kamila Valieva has been in the headlines for a week here at the Olympic Games, hers being the only high-profile doping case examined so far. But this past weekend also brought us sport and snow for the first time. A blanket of snow in the Chinese capital and a layer of natural snow on top of all the artificial stuff that's thus far been used in the arid mountains outside Beijing. So much of it, in fact, the competitions in the mountains had to be postponed and a third of the competitors crashed out in the men's giant slalom in treacherous conditions. 43-year-old Ghanaian Carlos Maida was among them failing to qualify after the first run. Maida was born in Ghana but grew up in Switzerland, having been given up for adoption. Shannon Abida, starting for Eritrea, finished in 39th position. Now back in Beijing, the time had come for Erin Jackson to make history. She hoisted an American flag after winning the gold medal in the speed skating women's 500 meter race. Jackson became the first black woman to win a speed skating medal at the Olympics. It was a frenetic dash around Beijing's magnificent speed skating oval. Her accomplishment was even more extraordinary, having made the switch from inline skating to ice just months before the 2018 Games. Philip Crowther for Voice of America, Beijing.